Hi everybody and welcome to this two minute tying tutorial. For the pattern today I'm tying, uh, I'm going to be using a gold tungsten bead and also some thin copper wire. This is an olive zebra midge. I do like to pair this color with the olive zebra midge as with the brown. Whenever I'm tying black or a gray, um, then I'll, I'll go with a silver bead at the front and silver, really thin wire. But in this case, as I mentioned, I'm going with the olive, so I'm going to be using this brass and gold color. Um, very simple pattern, really effective pattern. Um, all I'm really concentrating on right now is just building up the body. I do want it to taper a little bit from the, the, the back of the body up to the front. I'm using a really fine olive thread. I'm just slowly building it up. Because this is so so fine of a thread, I do have a little bit of room to build up. And if you notice at the very front of the fly, uh, near the head, there's a little gap there because as I um, I tied in my thin copper wire, I left about one millimeter between the wire and the bead. And that's going to allow me to finish off the head of the fly. So I'm just going to go down a little bit. I'm tying on a short shanked scud hook. Once I have the body built up to, a, to what I deem acceptable, not anything overly excessive, I'm just going to bring the, the thread to the front, just let it hang, then put in my ribbing. I just want this spaced out evenly. When I get to the, the front, I'm just going to lock that in place. I do want to trim the thread as close to the bead, or I'm sorry, the, the wire as close to the bead as possible. Make sure I don't have anything hanging up. And just put a couple wraps over it. And then to complete the head of the fly, I do like the head of the zebra midge to be a little darker. I'm using some F SLF spiky squirrel dubbing. The color is dark brown. It's a really great color for this pattern. After I have just a little bit of that tied in, I may put one half hitch to lock everything. And then finally, I'm going to whip finish the head. So this is the completed zebra midge pattern. This is an olive zebra midge. Uh, I'll give you a complete look at the fly the whole way around. You can see there's probably some some long fibers just hanging out in there. So I'll get rid of those as I'm taking a peek at it. And then there is the completed look of the fly. So again, this is a short shanked scud hook. This is a size 18. I'll tie these the whole way down to size 24. Good luck tying this fly and thank you for viewing this two minute tying tutorial.